video, I'm going to be comparing the new primary 2022 teacher's guides and home instructor's guides for level 1A. All right, this video is going to compare the new primary 2022 mathematics level 1A, the teacher's guide and the home instructor's guide. There is a pretty significant price difference between the two. The teacher's guide, I think, like 50 something dollars and this is like 20. I will check those prices for you though. Um, and there are some pretty substantial differences in my opinion. So the books themselves, the biggest difference, right, is black and white versus color. Also, we have the student pages in embedded in the teacher guide and we do not have those in here, right? So that's how they're cutting costs by having this black and white and having fewer pages because we're not including the student pages. They do have the answers in here though, which, you know, for first grade isn't so important, but you know, fourth, fifth grade, sure. I will take an answer key. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's look at a lesson. We will start at the biggest difference. Do, 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 do. Start right at chapter one teacher guide we have this nice across grade level progression so you can see the spiraling that's happening and an introduction introduction to the steam project work teacher guide just jumps right into the lesson we do not have this in the teacher guide or the i'm sorry the home instructor's guide turn the page and we get the chapter overview this is basically a simplified version We have the chapter progression here. We do not have that here. Then we jump into the chapter at a glance. This is a lot of information and this is would be more beneficial for a classroom instructor having all these things. This is nice and streamlined for a homeschool adult. It also tells you, it breaks the lessons down into the days. All right, so we know there's going to be 15 days for this chapter. This is day one, day two, day three, etc. Okay, then we will get into the chapter opener. Sorry, trying to like line these all up so they're both on screen at the same time. Okay, so we have the full color with the student page in here for the chapter opener. I really like that this promoting growth blocks is here, but we don't have that in the home instructor's guide. They do have the digging deeper and these teaching tips, which are great. We turn the page. We're still on recall in the teacher's guide. They do have a little bit of a game here, which is nice because I was in the previous video talking about how I like the game's aspect and dimensions better. Okay, so then we move into our lesson. One big difference with our lesson openers, it does not have all this information. Now, this is first grade, so not a big deal. I don't have the upper grade levels. I'm not sure if that's the same. I might like more prompting and questions to think of so I don't have to think um, when I'm doing the lesson. And we have this learn section. We move into the activity. Okay, so we still have this activity stuff. We have the learn together. We have the additional support and the digging deeper. We have the lesson debrief, same, same. We have the promoting growth box here, which I like again. And then we have the practice on your own. Then we have this big differentiated instruction, which is really simplified um, right here with the more resources. So this is really important for a classroom, um, maybe not as much to have all this information as a homeschooling parent. And then you have this nice do more at home part. All the lessons are pretty much set up that same way. Let's see if we can get to um, the chapter wrap up. Okay, 
So here's the chapter wrap up. We have the performance task. Going through the performance task. They do include the rubric in here for the performance task. Although here we have that full color version and the student page. And then we go into the STEAM work, the STEAM project that spans across different chapters and um, chapter practice. Then it goes into the, you know, the chapter test information and the chapter self reflection. And then we move up to the next chapter with the chapter overview in here. And again, in here, we have the nice across grades progression. We don't have that here which I think is a bummer, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so that is a comparison of the new primary 2022 mathematics, the teacher's guide for level 1A and the home instructor's guide for 1A. Okay, so... As you could see with the teacher's guide and the instructor's guides, there were a lot of differences. The biggest difference obviously is less information and you don't have the color pictures in the in home instructor's guide as you do in the teacher's guide. Um, and that's so they can help cut on costs for homeschooling families. Um, so, you know, you kind of have to weigh what's important for you when you're choosing those and the cost, obviously, because there is a pretty big price difference between the two. I have not looked at the older grade levels for primary 2022, so I don't know if um, having more information in the teacher's guide would become more beneficial as you work and work on more advanced math or if they kind of bring more of that over to the instructor's guide. Um, so yeah, just have to look into that, I guess. Um, I'm sure there's somebody else out here on YouTube that has done a peek through, I don't know. Hope that was helpful, bye.